Hi, I'm Iris Sokol, the owner of ErgoWell, and I am a health, wellness, and ergonomic consultant with over 35 years of experience in the ergonomic and wellness industry. I am here with the Neutral Chair Company to share with you a fitting in fitness series that consists of strength work that can easily be done during the day without having to leave your workstation. You don't need to wait until you have that chunk of time to devote to exercise. You can fit in pockets of exercise during your day. Everything you do for your body counts towards your overall health and wellness, even just a few minutes of exercise. The Neutral Chair Company is dedicated to helping its customers with their ergonomic health and wellness. Before we get started, please view our medical disclaimer. I'm Iris Sokol of ErgoWell, and I'm here with the Neutral Chair Company. And in today's session, I'm gonna show you exercises that you can do for your arms and always for the core. Repetitions are up to you. I'm just showing you enough so you understand the exercise. You do as many repetitions as is comfortable for your, for your body. And the guideline is do enough so you feel the muscles working, but not so many that you blow your form. The first one is so simple. All you're gonna do is you drop your arms by your sides and you're gonna bring your arms up and as you do that, press your shoulders down and you're gonna feel the middle back muscles engage. So let's drop the arms on the inhale. Exhale, just raise the arms up. Make sure they're slightly in front of your body and drop. And on the last one, you do however many repetitions are appropriate for your body, but on your last one, just hold your arms up there. Really press down on, on your shoulders, almost as if someone was standing on your shoulders and hold it for as long as you can, breathe deeply, and you're gonna really feel your middle back muscles engage and then just drop. Always shake out when you're done. I'm gonna show you some things that you can do right against a wall for your, for your upper body. I call these push-offs because you're gonna push off of a wall. I like to start people against a wall. And you have your hands at shoulder height, step far enough away so you have weight in your hands. Shoulders are set down, that is so important. You're gonna inhale as you bring your body in, keeping your back in a nice straight line. Belly muscles pulled into the back so you're connected to your core. You're gonna inhale as you bring yourself in. You're gonna exhale as you push yourself away. A couple of cautions here, make sure you don't lock your elbows and make sure that your shoulders are set down. Don't let them hike up towards your ears. And with all the exercises, the rule is do enough repetitions so you feel the muscles working, not so many that you're losing your form. And when you've done your last one, a great stretch to do is step in and just put your arms a little higher up, bend your knees and press your chest toward your thighs. That's a great stretch for your chest, your front part of your shoulders, your upper back, and then let it go, shake it out. Another variation of a, a push-off is one-armed and sideways. So you put your hand against the wall, step, step away. You're going to just bend your elbow as you inhale, exhale, push away, and make sure you don't lock your elbow and that you don't hike up in your shoulder. Those are the two things to watch for. And make sure that you don't let your hip sag forward. Keep a nice straight line with your body. You can also, if you want to work more in the back of the arm, turn your hand sideways and bring your body in. Exhale as you push away. Great exercise for your arm and do however many that you feel comfortable with and not so many that you're, you're starting to um, hike in your shoulder or, or lock your elbow. So if you'd like a little bit more challenge to your push off, you can use a lower surface, a desk, kitchen counter is another great space. Think of all the time that we waste while we're cooking and you could be plugging in some exercises. But if you're at your workstation, a desk is great. So you wanna put your hands against the desk, step far enough away so you uh, feel weight in your hands, set your shoulders down. I'm gonna just show you enough repetitions so you understand the exercise. You're gonna inhale as you bring your body in. You're gonna exhale as you push away. And the cautions here are to not lock your elbows 
and to not hunch your shoulders. Make sure your shoulders are, are set down and make sure your back stays in good alignment that you don't let your hips drop forward and arch in your lower back. So this is what you want it to look like. Inhale as you come in, exhale as you push away. And inhale as you come in, exhale as you push away. And after your last one, a great stretch to do is step in a little bit, put your hands flat, and now press your chest towards your thighs. Let your head drop between your arms and just hang out here for a few breaths. Make sure your knees are very bent and then slowly come out of that. That's a great stretch that you can do right at your desk and great to do right after you've done some arm work. Great exercise for your core muscles is a plank. And there are all different variations on a plank. And I like to start people against a wall. So you bring your elbows into the wall, step far enough away so you feel your core contract. Pull your belly muscles right into your back and just hold this for as long as you're comfortable and breathe. A couple of cautions. Make sure your shoulders are down and relaxed. Make sure you don't arch in your lower back. And there's a few ways you can advance this. You can lift one foot up off the ground and then the other, keeping your body nice and quiet and steady in the plank. You can step out to the side with a foot and then the other side, that's another variation. You can pedal your knees while you're holding the plank and you can pedal both, you can bring both knees in and extend. And all the while you're gripping with your abdominal muscles, pulling them deep into your back, you're breathing, keeping your shoulders down and relaxed. When you're all done, just step in. So if you wanna challenge yourself with a plank, you lower your surface. Desk in an office is great. You can also use a kitchen counter for these. Put your elbows on the surface, step away, so that when you're, when you're in the full plank, you feel your abdominals contract. Make sure your back stays nice and straight. Couple of cautions here, keep your shoulders set down, belly pulls right into the back, and you just hang out here for as long as you can, and you're comfortable, and you have good form, and breathe. A few ways to challenge a plank. You can lift one foot off the ground, I showed you these with the plank against the wall, so you can lift one foot and then the other. You don't have to lift it very high. You can step out to the side, or you can pedal your legs. And notice that I'm not letting my hips drop, and you can pedal both legs at once. And these are ways to challenge the plank. The whole time you're breathing, shoulders are set down, and then when you're done, step in and stand up. Another great core exercise that you can do right in your office is a standing balance. And this is gonna look so simple and easy, but it's actually very challenging. So what you wanna do is stand with all that beautiful posture that we've been talking about, and just lift one foot a little bit off the ground. I'm just gonna lift my left heel. You can hold on to something if you need to. If you wanna advance this, you can have your arms out, uh, out to the sides. And then when you're ready, lift that foot up off the ground and you're gonna feel your core muscles grip and connect to keep your balance. Your supporting foot is gonna wobble and that's completely normal, that's okay. And just stand here for as long as you're comfortable and work on not only your balance, which is so great for all of us as we age. I'm gonna swap sides now, let's do the other side. Um, but it's so great for the leg that you're standing on as well as your core. So lift your other foot off the ground a little bit. You can hold on, remember, or not. Lift your leg when you're ready and just stand there. Make sure that you don't sink into the supporting hip and that you're staying lifted. That's part of the work of using your core to keep yourself lifted up and out of that supporting leg. Just hold and breathe. You could be talking on the phone doing this and multitasking, and when, you're, when you've felt it enough and you're done, stop and you can shake out your legs. Great exercise that you can do anywhere, and it works so many different muscles in your body. I wanna thank you for joining me in the Neutral Chair Company. Have a wonderful day.